Hi, in this training, I'm going to train you on how to create your own custom reports. I share with you some of the reports I created in this training. You can create many reports on your own. So to check the report I created in the SAP using my own library. So you can go to GR55 to execute the report I created. Here is my report groupies CC01 and click on execute. So now you enter controlling area, physical year and cost center group and period from and to and click on execute. So here this is the report what I created. So you can see on the top here this is a title page. So the title page is you can enter uh, input parameters or you can enter your own title details the report information. Apart from that this is a header information of the report. So you can uh, enter a variables data generated. This report is generated and time uh, the report is generated physical year and period from and period to and also controlling area and also the client. So when you go down, these are different sessions in the report. So this is one session for a report and this is another session here and this is a session another session here. So here this is a report which is having actual plan and variance. So the below to that you can see the employees headcount which is a statistical key figure values and also this is a formula we used to calculate employee costs by each employee. So you can see the average cost of the each employee here. And now this is how you can put the end of the page and here you can see variations by the characteristics. Characteristics can be your uh, cost center, profit center or, or anything and also the period. So here when you shuffle from period to the cost center. So now let me shuffle here period and I click on January so you can see only January data. So February is the do your selection here. So you can see the data by individual periods for all the cost centers. Now you go to the cost center and drill down what are all the cost centers so you can see here. So this is only a single group so you may be having subgroups under this also possible. So now let us say I selected this cost center and the data for this cost center is this is the data for all the periods from 1 to 12. So now let me go to the period and I select the period by period so the data is changing according to the your selection for that particular cost center what you have selected here under cost center. So this is how uh, you can create on your own these reports. So this is a simple report which I share. So if you want to see all the cost center data you need to click on the group so you can see the total values for that cost center and also on the period you can see you can see this is all cost centers for October so now you can click on the selection here period selection and you can see all the data now so uh, you have to be careful when you are using these reports where the data you selected here so that the selection should be the group and the cost center also should be the group so when you when you shuffle here the data will be automatically changed according to your selection by individual cost centers so in this training i am going to show you how this report is created so how you can use it and how you can create your own reports so apart from this so i am going to show you this is this is a one page so you can see and if you click on next here this is another page number two so there is a horizontal pages so you can give the quantity here so the statistical key figure values for individual cost element you can see here. 
so now you click on right arrow you can see this is the employee headcount so this is how you can create your own report so this is called the page number two which is on your right side it will be called as a horizontal page and when you come here so these are all uh, we call as a individual sessions so this is one session here which is a, having an actual value and this is a, another session for a statistical key figures and there is a another session here which is a calculated key figure so you are putting a formula to divide this personal cost by number of employees so you will get an average of each employee so you can see so you can do the percentage you can do uh, a, a number of calculations and let us say if you want to do by individual uh, row then you may need to do the selection for this and then you, you have to do how to do that also is explained uh, in this uh, report training so hopeful hopefully uh, you will enjoy this training try to enroll this course so hopefully cover all the sessions so try to enroll this course to get more details uh, into the reports and how uh, you want to, how we can create the report